for this week's edition of Louisiana Outdoors. We're here inside Superior Bait and Tackle on Signal Lane. Mr. Mark Matthews, good morning to you, sir. How are things? Good, good. A lot of trout being taken this past weekend. It, uh, it's been full bore. Absolutely. This is the time, and summer is rapidly approaching. A helpful tip out there. Got to make sure you have the right kind of bait, but of course, the right kind of knot. Mark, what are you going to walk us through here today? Right. Well, uh, often customers come in and they're not certain how to join two lines together successfully. And when we put fluorocarbon on the end of braided line, it mm -hmm. really does help when the trout are leader shy or if you get into an offshore, offshore situation where the fish are leader shy. So this is a great way to join two, two uh, pieces of line, especially when there's, this isn't fluorocarbon, but I have two different colors to help us visually see the steps of the knot. So uh, I will put the two lines together and we, you know, first you want to make an Indian, okay? Then you, you, you know, you fold your two arms here, or in this case two lines. You hold them in the middle. Mm -hmm. Then you take your tag line here and now we have enough room and everything. So then we take and make a cue here, or as such. Then we wrap this. And I always do a turn or two more on the braided side because it has a tendency to maybe want to slip. Just to keep it secure. So after we make a cue, we wrap that tag inside the circle we made, or inside the cue, uh, five or six times, and then we close this down here. We don't kill it, but we do just you know close all our loops. Right. And then, you know, very simply, we just go on the other side, make the same steps through here. And you could do a turn or two less on your monofilament side or, you know, fluorocarbon side. And then you close it down. And at that point, you have two uni knots. Mm -hmm. And you jam the two knots together, and it's 100%. There you go, a uni to uni knot. Yeah. And again, you said this is very advantageous out there, especially trying to get some of the trout. And Sometimes when they're leader shy, yeah. yeah. And you get the, the, you get the advantage of the braided line, but at the same time, you don't have to deal with, you know, worrying about a fish being leader shy because you can put this on. This knot is small and low profile. Of course, you can trim it up a little tighter than we did here. It'll come and go out of the guides and the level line of the reel unnoticed, and uh, it's very effective. Good stuff as always, Mr. Mark Matthews. What's on your agenda? Here we are, mid-May. Summer's uh, coming. Uh, kids are, you know, getting out of school. Yep. Uh, I think uh, some of the LSU students are done. Uh, the high school kids not too far behind. That's right. I had uh, one of the guys that helped us out here got out. Uh, he graduated high school, so he was all fired. Congrats to the family over here at Superior Bait and Tackle. And if y'all need anything, come see Mark and the guys. They'll take care of you. Thank you. All right, Mark. Great to see you as always. We appreciate it. That'll do it for this week's edition of LA Outdoors here at Superior Bait and Tackle.